Welcome back everybody to the vlog. Here is your 2022 scooter check. And now we're gonna do a little different because the last scooter check we did, well, there was one scooter. Now, as you all know, there are two scooters. The simple reason why, first off, before we do the scooter check that I bought two scooters is one, never done it before. Number two, it's worth it because one's for park and street and the other one is specifically for flat. So I can always ride two and I always know the shape it's gonna be in after. starting off with today is the bar ends. I have metal, metal aluminum NV bar ends. Uh, you use a uh, four Allen key to tighten up, tighten them inside the bars. I do have a mechanism. Oh, sorry, besides the wind is just, it's another windy day out here in Vegas. For the past three weeks, it's been just hectic. But for that, we have the metal bar ends. And these, uh, usually for me, depending on how well you take care of your scooter, they last me a good amount, a few months. And depending on if I throw my scooter, my scooter falls, it could possibly break. And the, the mechanism screw could like just, you know, just, just go out. So I would say for, for most of the part, these are very great bar ends to have. And that's why I got it. And I had them match with the whole entire colorway. For the second thing, we are running TPR grips. TPR grips, I've been riding these for a while from Envy and they feel amazing they they feel very very comfortable when you are riding when you're doing all types of different tricks when you got to hold on your bars they're uh pretty wide as well uh they're pretty thick too and they just feel amazing when you do ride and the colorways they have multiple different colorways so it's like anodized two different colors so you, you know you can do uh teal red green blue white there's so many different colors to choose from, highly recommend. My last time I did a scooter check, I was running uh, steel T-bars. Now, I don't wanna ride steel T-bars, but they're also good bars, but it's just, I wanna kinda switch it up and ride a little something different and also something a little lighter. So I got the Flavio Pacenti bars in black with the uh, white, cool, really cool logo on there that they have. And uh, they hold up very well. They're very light and they're oversized as well. And I got the really cool uh, Ride NYC sticker. Also, if you guys want to check out any Ride NYC stuff, go to the first link in my description and you can grab a shirt, necklace, beanie, all sorts of things for you guys to, uh, you know, enjoy and check out. Now also, let's get right back into it. So yeah, with these bars, these are like super freaking perfect. They come in, I think two, three or four different colors. And um, honestly, I to me, they're worth it. They're yeah, they're worth it. You can do a lot of tricks. They last quite a bit, a long time, and they're even reinforced up here, so you will have better time. Now, one thing I do want to kind of say, um, I had the Envy Ullman clamp. Now, I don't have the Envy Ullman clamp on this scooter. Uh, there was a defect or something and part of the bolt as you guys know came off for me and i was not really i was able to ride it but with three bolts but that's not safe so i'm not gonna do that so i had to swap it out to one of my old clamps right here and um and this triple envy clamp right here it works out freaking good you can hold two different size uh oversize and the uh, regular standard size bars also if you do you might most likely we'll have to be putting a shim in, but it works perfectly. I didn't, you know, the other one I had, but stuff happened to it. So I had to swap it out because I still want to use this beautiful scooter. Now we will be going down to the Envy headset. I have a black and white headset cap, but I do have an Envy headset inside and it works perfectly. Super slick, super fast, doesn't make any noise, which is perfect. And you always got to keep it greased as well. Every month to, -ish, to two months, Go grease up your scooter again, retighten everything after a session, especially if it is feeling loose, but the headset works perfectly. I love it. Now I got these De Declare forks, Declare forks from Envy. Uh, I haven't had any problems with them at all. For me buying these, I really haven't had too much of issues. They don't bend, they're super strong, and they have really cool colorways and you can fit up to 130 millimeter wheels. 
Now, I don't know many forks that are able to fit up to 130 millimeter wheels. For the wheels I'm running for this uh, street scooter, I'm running the black and white John Ray signature wheels from Envy with the 86A urethane hollow cores. Uh, the bearings inside, they're so freaking fast, super quiet, perfect. The wheel, it lasts a super long time. I love it. You get to everywhere you need to go with these wheels, like super fast. And the person behind the design and everything, super big inspiration to me, John Reyes. And also, if you guys don't know, John Reyes, professional scooter rider. Also, his deck we will get to in a second. But his wheels, I run these on the, uh, the front down here and also the back right here on both my scooters. You know why? Because they're the best wheels from Envy. Before we get over here to the deck, now, uh, the pegs. Everybody always asks me in YouTube videos, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, all these different social media platforms. Everyone always says, what pegs do you ride? I ride Avid Flatland pegs uh, for this specific scooter right here for, for this one. I ride Avid Flatland pegs. Same thing for that goes to my Flatland scooter, but I run different pegs in the back. But I do run Avid Flatland pegs on both sides. They're a bit short, but they're perfect for riding, perfect for doing tricks, and I can still do some Flatland stuff while I'm on the go and just riding around doing gaps and stairs. Now, my grip tape's a little dirty, but that's kind of with every single grip tape. The more you ride, the more dirty you'll get. But the grip tape that I have right here that I am riding on both of my scooters, and specifically for this one, it's longboard see-through grip tape. Now, when the sun is out, which it's not out right now, but when the sun is out, you are able to see a really cool reflection off of the John Ray signature deck. And this grip tape is really cool because when it's clean, you can kind of see the sparkles through it and <laughs> It looks so freaking cool. And if I have a clip, I'll toss it in. But much, you know, I just, it, it's a must. It's a must grip tape. Like every grip tape, it will get dirty the more you ride, the, depending on the places you ride to. But I live in a desert, so it's always uh, it's crazy out here and a lot of cars drive, so there's a lot of oil on the floor. So that's why specifically it gets dirty super quick, but uh, it's very grippy. It stays very grippy and you can also see through it which is like really, really cool. And I just cut it out for the John Reyes right here because, you know, that's that's the guy, that's the homie. So you gotta, you know, you always gotta make sure his name's out when you put the grip tape on. Last but not least, we are at the John Reyes AOS V5 LTD Limited Edition Scooter Deck. Sorry for the wind, guys, if it's kind of interrupting the microphone, but this scooter deck, <laughs> Like many others, uh, I have every single John Reyes scooter deck that has ever been put out uh, by him with all the designs and everything. I own every single one. And this is the other one, the newest one that has been out for the longest time. So if you guys haven't copped anything of what I have talked about yet, uh, go do it. <laughs> just, just go do it. It's, it's how do I put it? It's, it's just so worth it. The deck is perfect with a super amazing graphic by John Reyes and Envy Scooters. It is the AOS 5 LTD right here. And you have the uh, nylon brake in the back, which is so freaking good when you do tricks and stuff. It's plastic, but it stays tightened. And do you hear that? It stays dialed and it's, it's so freaking cool. Like I have the smaller version because there are two versions to this scooter deck, but I have the smaller one on both my scooters because it's just easier for me to do tricks and everything. My battery is about to die. But the one really cool thing besides the amazing graphic right here and the two different decks that, uh, deck sizes that you can uh, kind of uh, switch between if you want the bigger deck size, if you ride street, and then if you want, if you're riding park or flat, I'd suggest the smaller size depending on you. It's a personal preference thing and I do understand that. But I just, I really love how Envy made a cutout right here and you can see straight through the floor. I bow on the side, scooter takeout way and in the front and, you know, down there obviously <laughs> and even through here you can see your wheel and I'm running the back dropouts for my street as well because it gives me uh, kind of more time or like more area for me to have my foot so I can do tricks on top of that it helps me grind as well and it doesn't damage the back of my scooter deck now let's swap off to the flatland scooter and let's leave, let's leave you behind for now. Flatland scooter one should go by a lot quicker because it's kind of almost the same, pretty much the same amount of everything, just a little twist. 
For this one, we are gonna start off with the bar ends. Same NV nylon bar ends. And you also have the logos. If I can get it in the screen, you can have the logos right there. And it's oil slick too. So I had to make sure it matched with the whole scooter. Like when I kind of make scooters now, I figure out the parts that are gonna match it. I don't want it mismatched. It's just, it's not my thing. Personally, I like to have it match and kind of stick out from everybody else. So that's what we're gonna start off with. Next thing, we got the teal and black TPR grips. Super, super great. And a little worn in, but not even like too much yet. Still gotta ride even more on this thing. Uh, the bars, oil slick, Flavio Pacenti bars. They, I still have the oil slick right NYC sticker, you know, cause you gotta match, obviously. And uh, these bars right here, whenever I ride them, uh, everybody usually always looks at them, wants to talk, wants to talk about it because it's just, it's that colorful. Oil slick, Omen clamp. Now, what I was saying with my street scooter is that one, I had a black one. And for some reason, the top bolt for something, it just, it messed up. And the, the, the things inside the bolt, I can't, I don't know the exact words off the top of my head right now but they just kind of, it was like a dud, like a dud part. Sometimes you'll get parts where they work perfect, other ones every once in a while, doesn't happen often, but every once in a while you'll have those parts where they're just a dud. And it's just for some reason, it just doesn't work and it breaks on you and you have to replace it with a whole new one. But for now, this almond clamp, oil slick almond clamp, oh man, it, <laughs> Highly recommend. For the same thing, we have a NV headset with a oil slick NV uh, headset cap on the top to kind of keep all the dirt out and kind of keep everything nice and solid, ready to go. Also with both of the compression systems that I am running on both, they are SCS. I don't mind ri riding IHC, but with SCS, they, um, how do I put it? It's just, it's a bit stronger. So I don't have to worry too much about too many things of it breaking on me. So that's always a great thing with SCS. IHC is perfect as well. I love, I love IHC stuff too. Just for me personally, I just for both my scooters to keep that strength there, to keep it solid, I'm gonna run SCS. That's the compression system that I am running at the moment. Declare Envy Oil Slick Forks. Now, on um, my street one I had black. Now these ones, I have oil slick and um, they, they match everything. That's what I love. Why well, I wanted to get parts that will match up and um, they work perfect, I love it. Next thing we're gonna go off to, besides the beautiful forks, we're gonna go off to the pegs. Now I'm running two different style of pegs for my Flatland one and I'll explain why. Now I'm running Avid Flatland pegs. I've had these pegs for, these are my first pegs I've ever bought so I can actually ride Flatland. They're Avid Flatland pegs and these ones specifically are gonna be staying on this scooter so I'm able to ride. Uh, they're perfect. You do need a certain type of, uh, uh, not tool. <laughs> you need a certain type of axle and it has to be pretty long so you can fit both of, of them on there. And on top of that, we have the ones in the back right here. Now these ones are a little different. They're not really a little different, but at the time when I was looking for all the scooters, I couldn't find any Avid pegs that were, um, you know, for sale. Everything was kind of sold out at the moment. So I'm like, okay, what are some pegs that will be useful, good, and last a while, and that are not too expensive? And now these are Ethic DTC steel pegs right here. And if you look right down there, which, in the middle i can fit tools in there so i can tighten the the nut and the axle which is perfect because i need a pretty long one for the front and back so both pegs are able to stay on there after a while they will be dented but just gotta throw some new ones on there and they work perfect for flatland i'm telling you i don't know much about uh park and street because i don't really ride those pegs on there this is specifically for flat they work perfect they they work perfect and I don't write any grip tape on them either like I just throw my stuff in uh, you know my, my feet onto the deck and figure out balance points and everything takes a while but that's all about scootering and just like with the uh, teal and black TPR grips I had the teal and black John Ray's signature wheels. He has like four different colors now. And I was like, okay, for one, I'll have white and black. And the next one, I'm gonna have all colorful. And the wheels match the bars, match the forks, match the clam, match the bar end, match the bottom of the deck. So I feel like the Flatland one 
worked out really good and I, I love them. They 120 millimeter, they're a different color and they work perfect, literally. And they're super fast, super strong, very quiet. So freaking perfect of wheels, must have. It's, it's a must have on your scooter. Now, for the final part, besides the see-through grip tape that I said the same thing in the brake for the uh, uh, street setup. Now, AOS 5 LTD limited edition John Reyes deck. Now, for Flatland, I had to cut the fronts, both, both sides, and the backs as well. Not the best of a cutter. It was my first time ever cutting a deck. I've seen many people do them and make so many terrific scooters out of them, but for me specifically, uh, they're not the straightest or bestest of cuts, but they work. That's all I needed it to do. I needed it to work so I'm able to ride flatland and everything would be freaking perfect for me while I do my tricks and get better and my progression. So many people tell me, Steven, why did you cut your deck? What did you do? Blah, 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 blah. I have a perfectly fine deck right there. It's just for this one. I had to cut it specifically for flatland. I, you know, just for the longest time, I remember John Reyes. If you see this video, <laughs> you know, this is, you remember, I remember you telling me that I need to cut my deck for, I need to cut my deck so I can ride flatland and I can progress and get more tricks and everything. And I didn't really understand too much. And I wasn't in a position financially where I was able to do that. So I just was a little patient and everyone else had to be patient with me. <laughs> and then next thing you know, I was able to afford the scooters and this took me about 14 hours to cut. Now, why did it take me 14 hours? Well, when you first do it, you not you don't really know what to do, you know, with a drill and hacksaw and measuring and very, very crazy, very expensive deck to cut. But is it worth it to cut it for flatland? If you are young and you don't have adult supervision and there's power tools, please have someone that knows how to use it. Be Just be there, at least supervising. If they're not gonna do it specifically, have them supervise you because you could really make a wrong mistake and it could, you know, you could cut something and either cut the scooter deck wrong or you can cut yourself and that's never good. So always have some type of par par parental supervision if you are, you know, young and you're not that experienced with power tools. That is my 2022 scooter check. You have super colorful scooter for Flatland, as you guys already know, and then you also have the one for street. Thank you all for tuning in today to figure out what type of parts I have, the colors, the reasons why and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy that beautiful sunset if you guys have those sunsets too because that is beautiful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, stay positive, have a great rest of your day. I'm glad to see you guys all here and I can't wait to see you guys back for more videos later.